Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's Morning Prayer Service. This is Wednesday, March 24th. The opening sentence is from Matthew 3. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Confession of Sin. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our Heavenly Father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before Almighty God, but especially when we come together in his presence to give thanks for the great benefits we have received at his hands, to declare his most worthy praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and for our salvation. Therefore, draw near with me to the throne of heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, desires not the death of sinners, but that they may turn from their wickedness and live. He has empowered and commanded his ministers to pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardons and absolves all who truly repent and genuinely believe his holy gospel. For this reason, we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that our present deeds may please him, the rest of our lives may be pure and holy, and that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth. And the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works, 40 years long was I grieved with this generation and said, it is a people that err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, of whom I swore in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O oh, come, let us adore him. We'll now have the psalm reading and the New Testament reading. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 59 which can be found on page 342 in the Book of Common Prayer. Deliver me from my enemies, O God. Defend me from those who rise up against me. O deliver me from the evildoers. And save me from the bloodthirsty. For behold, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me without any offense or fault of mine, O Lord. 
They run and prepare themselves without cause. Arise, therefore, to help me. Rise up, O Lord God of hosts, O God of Israel, to visit all the nations. And be not merciful to those who offend with malicious wickedness. They go to and fro in the evening. They howl like dogs and run about through the city. Behold, they boast with their mouths and taunts are on their lips. For they say, who will hear us? But you, O Lord, shall hold them in derision. And you shall laugh all the nations to scorn. My strength I will ascribe unto you. For you are the God of my refuge. God shows me his plenteous goodness. And God shall let me look in triumph upon my enemies. Slay them not, lest my people forget it. But scatter them abroad by your might and put them down, O Lord, our shield. For the sin of their mouth and for the words of their lips, they shall be taken in their pride. Because their talk is cursing and lies. Consume them in your wrath. Consume them that they may perish. And know that it is God who rules in Jacob and unto the ends of the world. In the evening they will return. Howl like dogs and run about through the city. They will run here and there for meat. And growl if they're not satisfied. As for me, I will sing of your power and will praise your mercy early in the morning. For you have been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. Unto you, O oh my strength, will I sing. For you, O oh God, are my refuge and my merciful God. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The lesson today is a reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew, beginning with the 26th chapter, the 31st verse. Then Jesus said to them, You will all fall away because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter answered him, Though they all fall away because of you, I will never fall away. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I must die with you, I will not deny you. And all the disciples said the same. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch with me. And going a little farther, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, so could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, for the second time, he went away and prayed, my father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. And again, he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words again. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, sleep and take your rest later on. See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. 
see my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas came, one of the twelve, and with him a great crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man, seize him. And he came up to Jesus at once and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and he kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you came to do. Then they came up and laid hands on Jesus and seized him. And behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father and he will at once send me more than 12 legions of angels? But now, but how then should the scriptures be fulfilled that I, that it might be so? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to capture me? Day after day, I sat in the temple teaching and you did not seize me. But all this has taken place that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle for today is the Benedictus on page 19. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, a world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O oh Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O oh Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O oh Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O oh Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O oh God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. A collect for grace. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor run into any danger, 
and that guided by your spirit, we may do what is righteous in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We now have a time for intercession and thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, during this busy Easter season and Lenten season, I pray that you would give us your peace and your grace, calm our hearts, and help our lives to proceed apace and not be overwhelmed. Thank you, Lord, for all these things. Amen. Heavenly Father, give your mercy to your servants who are sick and in the hospital with COVID and all the other problems, heart, hospice, normal things, as well as serious things. Be with them, heal them, that they may be restored and give, a, a give you the glory for that restoration according to your gracious will and that we may give thanks. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you for all your blessings. We in particular pray for clergy in the lead up to Holy Week. Ask Lord for your blessing upon them and pray for those who have a responsibility for congregations in our diocese and also in uh, uh, different uh, denominations uh, throughout the city. Uh, we ask, Lord, that you would be with them in this uh, difficult time. It's praying for Holy Week, but also because of COVID, there are so many issues that have cropped up. And uh, we pray, Lord, for your grace, uh, for your peace, uh, for wisdom. And we pray for all of us that we may uh, turn to you and, and turn uh, uh, all of our concerns and all that's uh, troubling us uh, on, uh, onto you and uh, look for you to, uh, to guide us uh, by your spirit and by your word. In Christ's name, amen. The General Thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your measurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service, by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you in the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>